how to replace a flat roof skylight. That's the question today that I'm gonna answer. Let's go. What we have here is a pitch roof skylight in a flat roof, and that definitely doesn't work. So there are a couple basics you have to know about skylights. One, is it a deck mount, which is for a pitch roof, or is it a curb mount for a flat roof? And what that means is that the skylight should be mounted on top of a curb, not the skylight shouldn't be part of a curb. So what we're gonna do today is take out this skylight that's been improperly installed. It's the wrong skylight. And we're going to put in a proper flat roof skylight that's going to be a curb mount skylight. And we're gonna change it over to a standard size. That way, if there's ever a leak or a problem with the skylight, they can easily replace it within a couple of days and not have to wait you know, anywhere from three months to you know, two weeks. So let's put it to a regular non-custom size, which saves a lot of money and cost, and also makes it easier for us. Now, there are some workarounds we have to do to make this work, and we're gonna cover that today with this skylight being replaced. So let's get to removing the skylight. All right, now that the skylight's been ripped out, we can start taking measurements to cut a two by 10 into a curb. So let's do that now. I'm leaving a quarter inch on each side of the skylight so the skylight could fit on easy. And also we can put our roofing material up against the skylight and waterproof it. So that's what I'm gonna cut now. I'm gonna cut 26 by 50. That's our 50. And now we screw them together. And you can just use regular, uh, these are GRK three and eighth inch screws for framing. And they're number, I think they're number 10s, they're number 10s. So what I'm gonna do now is build the rest of this box by screwing it together. And I'm gonna show you a little trick how to get the water to run off the skylight. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is put the skylight on top of the, the, the box that we've built and see if it fits. That way we know if we do any kind of other kind of adjustments, it'll still fit. Now that we've verified that it actually fits, let's take the skylight back off again, turn the curb onto its side and cut it again. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, you know what, it's better if you guys just see what I'm doing so when I explain it, you guys can have an idea of what's actually going on. So anyways, let me take off the skylight. As you can see, that's what a curb mount skylight is. Basically just like a hat. Just like that. Now here comes the hard cut, because it's tall. I'm short. Just like that. Again with the track. Just like that. All right, so as you guys can see, the, the curb is much bigger than the hole for the, that the original skylight came out of. And that's because this is a standard size skylight, not a custom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill a piece of wood in here to give them something to, to like clean up the inside with. So if they wanna do sheetrock or shiplap or something nice, it'll actually look nice inside the building. So let's cut pieces for the inside and then we'll secure down the skylight and we'll roof it in. All right, so now that we've got the curb completely built, we're gonna tip off the outside of it. That's what Isaac's doing now. So the curb's completely built, secured to the roof. And now after that, we're going to waterproof it. And we're gonna use a special product, uh, since this is a uh, modified bitumen roof, we're gonna use a special product called, it's a PMMA, so a polymethyl methacrylate. And we're gonna start using the primer. We're using a, we're using a sip glass product here. And we're gonna use the Pro Primer W Resin. And we're gonna use the R, the R resin as well. And the R is a bleed trap and the W is meant for concrete and wood and a poor surface. So, that has to dry for a full day. So we'll be back either tomorrow or sometime this week to come and really waterproof it. But the primer's waterproof, so it's like double safe, but it lasts longer if you put that, uh, the actual PMA on top of it. But this is just a PMA primer. And I'm gonna use a little bit of fleece where the corner meets the skylight. Right there, I'm gonna use a little bit of primer and some fleece so that it, uh, we close up all the gaps and it looks a lot better too. So that's the plan, let's do it. The primer's bone dry, it's been here for a couple of days. Next thing we're gonna do is cut all our fleeces. So we have all our fleeces laid out and ready to go. 
The next thing we're gonna do is mix our flashing resin. And what we're using today is a Suprema Parapro flashing resin. And as you can see, Isaac's mixing it. It stinks really badly. It's a horrendous smell. And we're gonna catalyze it with the organic uh, catalyst, the Pro Catalyst. And so he's just mixing it up. He has to mix it for at least three minutes. And then we can mix a batch. And we're gonna start from the bottom and we'll work our way to the top. So we're gonna do the bottom first. Then we're gonna do the sides and then we're gonna do the top to make sure it's all waterproof and shingled the correct direction. So here's what we're gonna do next. As you can see, it looks pretty good. Let's get to the resin part of it. This is where I have a hard time talking because I'll be wearing a respirator. As he's mixing me another liter over there, I'm gonna get ready to broadcast ceramic sand into the, into, the, into the wet mixture so it blends in with the roof better. It'll just look a lot better. But as you can see, we've already got it mostly applied. The next thing we're gonna do is do the, do the head flashing, do a couple quarter patches, and then we're going to apply the sand, and that's gonna make it blend in real nice, and then the skylight is done. The reason I like these liquid apply membranes is because they're bulletproof. Once they go in and the chemicals react, you have to work very quick and you have to be very accurate and it lasts a lot longer than a regular roof. So whenever there's like a flashing detail or penetration and you have a modified bitumen roof, it's easier to use a chemical to do the transitions than to use some kind of asphalt because the asphalt will fall apart, especially in the corners. So that's why I'm using this liquid applied membrane and that's how I suggest most of the flashings get done on a modified bitumen roof unless otherwise specified, but it's hard to find a better system than this when it comes to working with modified bitumen. Let's get the rest of this curb wrapped up so we can get out of here. All right, that's the entire skylight waterproofed. Next thing Isaac's doing is just peeling the tape so we have a nice clean line. So Isaac's just peeling tape now. And that's how you get nice straight lines when you're doing liquid applied membranes. And that's how you replace a curb and a skylight on a modified bitumen roof. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys liked it. I think it came out pretty good. Isaac says give it a thumbs up, right? Yeah. He doesn't care. Looks nice and clean. Should last a very long time. Longer than the rest of the roof at least. So that's it guys. Like and follow. I'll see you guys in the next one.